Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is NJ. So if you're seeing my face for the very first time, welcome. You're definitely on the right channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always tuning back in. So guys, this video is our first ever community video. Yes, this is the video where we all come together to talk about our opinion on a particular topic and yes this topic is do you think that family and friends should be considered as important factors in relationships with courtship or marriage Thank you so much. And for those who didn't get the opportunity to do so, don't worry, you still have plenty more opportunities like to send in for upcoming community videos. Like, but thank you so much to everyone who sent in a video. Like, you guys are so amazing. Thank you for wanting to make this community, this channel great. Like, I am I'm so happy. Like, I'm, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much for the response. It was just amazing. So now, like I said earlier, the topic is, do you think family and friends should be important factors in friend, in friend um, relationships, sorry, be it courtship or marriage? Okay, now, personally, I don't know about friends, eh? But then, family, yes, I think that to a certain extent, we should consider our, our family opinion before we get into a relationship or a marriage, especially marriage. You know, I think that family, what well, family is really important when it comes to taking life changing decisions, including marriage. And yeah, let me use myself for an example. Like, I wouldn't want to get married to somebody that my family does not accept, some of my parents don't like, or some of my siblings don't get along with. I wouldn't want that at all. I know what they say that when uh, what an elder sees sitting down with the young ones, you can't even see it and climb on top of the tallest tree. Yeah, I also believe in that a lot. And when taking life changing decisions, I think it's really important to listen to your family because at the end of the day, they're the ones to fall back on when everything else fails. And so, let's, so let's say now the family, everybody agrees and they get married and all that. Now, that family is not Let it stop there. It's not when everybody wants to make one decision in your family, in your marriage. Ah, I like, can't your mom. Uh, I can manage that you do. No, you, you don't have to, I don't think you should involve your family and friends in uh, marriage matters, whatever it is, whatever hurdle you, you, you and your husband, you and your wife, you and your spouse, whatever hurdle you get to or you encounter, then both of you will make up a plan on how to jump that hurdle and move on to the next. Like, I don't think that family and friends should interfere in marriages and all that. Yeah, I get that maybe sometimes, or maybe it's an abusive, abusive marriage, sometimes they have to do family meetings and all that, but that's different. I mean, like when you, you and your spouse, you need to make a decision, husband and wife should, and then you start including other people, I think that's wrong. Yeah, I think you should just talk about it with your spouse, and both of you will agree on something. Yeah, so in conclusion, what I'm saying is that when you're single, before you get married, yes, family's impute is very important, but once you get married, try to cut it, you know, you don't want your family to keep interfering in your marriage. All that, yeah, so, so yeah, that's it. That's what I think. Now, let's move over to the community and see what some of our community members have to say. And I'll see you guys soon. Hi, my name is Chama Okoli, I'm Angel's V sister. So, um, first of all, Angel, I want to say that I'm so proud of you and I'm so excited to be able to be here and support you in every way that I can because you've been the one giving me over the years so selflessly. So, for the first time, I'm excited to give you something, Angel, and here is my support. Um, I definitely, definitely think that friends and family should be considered in a relationship, especially the family part. Friends, not so much, but definitely family. If your sisters, your brothers, your parents don't like the person you're about to get married to or get in a relationship with, in with, don't do it until you fix it because everybody around you can be crazy and then you're the only sane one, of course, unless you have a, a very crazy family where nobody likes anybody. But if you have a family that you trust and you love and you know that they love you and they're telling you there's something wrong, um, I... Think you should take a step back and, and look and try to fix whatever the problem is so bye that's what i think love you hello angie uh, chibuke here 
All right, so the question is, are friends and family supposed to be important factors in a relationship or marriage? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I just think it should be um, between the people involved. I don't necessarily think that friends and family should be important factors because, um, you know, friends don't always give you great advice. I mean... You know how you feel about a person. You know how, you know, yes, a family can give you advice. But at the end of the day, you're going to live with the person. So um, you just go with your guts and um, hope that your family blesses your marriage or union or allows you to be with whoever you choose to be with. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts. But um, either way, I think they're not that important, but their blessing would be good. Hello, so um, about the question, uh, family and friends meant to be an important factor in relationships. I don't know about friends, but to me, family is meant to be a huge factor in relationships, okay? It's very, very important because I'm Igbo and where I come from, you're not just marrying the man or the woman, you're also getting married to their family. So yeah, it's very, very important to me. I definitely don't want to be with somebody who... Uh, my parents have blatantly refused to accept or his parents have blatantly refused to accept me I've seen uh, cases where um, you know couples went ahead to get married or date you know without their parents approvals And it almost never ends up well. So yeah, this is my personal opinion and I feel like my parents opinion matters a huge deal Okay with who I spend the rest of my life with. So yeah, thank you. Bye Hi NJ, you can see I'm about to film, but I'm taking out time to do this for you. So basically, I feel like when it comes to courtship or marriage or relationship, family and friends are somewhat important, okay? In the sense that no man is an island, no man is an island. Using my marriage as an example, I know there are times that Francis will annoy me so much and then I talk to my family or friends and they remind me how amazing he is or how annoying he is or whichever one and it just calms me down. So it's not like they should have a say in what you do in your relationship, but you should definitely include them in the sense that don't just get married and abandon your family. Don't get married and feel like, okay, it's only my husband and only my husband or only my wife and only my wife. No, no man is an island. You always are going to need friends. You're always going to need family members. So for that, in that aspect, I feel like they're important. But when it comes to important decision making, then they're really not important whatsoever. Hi guys, this is Ada from Ada's World and I'm here to give a one minute video on the topic if friends and family are important factors to be considered in a relationship. Now, this is my take on this. Yes, I think it's an important factor to be considered in a relationship. When it comes to friends, it goes a long way to show, to portray the kind of person your partner is, the kind of vibes he likes to be surrounded around him, the kind of discussion he discusses with uh, this, his friends. And yeah, it goes a long way to show you the kind of person he is. And now when it comes to family, you just have to, you know, either like the family and the family has to like you back because it goes a long way to, you know, show the kind of relationship you're going to have with this family because they will eventually, they will eventually become your family and that will either make or break that relationship. Um, so let me make this quick. One minute. So yeah, I support it. Friends and family members, they help a long way in a relationship. Um, I don't think you want to just be dating somebody and you're at war with his friends or her friends. Trust me, relationship is already going to go down because they will do everything possible. They can even set you up. Like, that's serious. And again, if you want to get married and you, you're you already at war with your new family members, oh my God, that's going to be hell for you. Hell for you, hell for them. And it's going to be so much stress. And there will not be any peace of mind for you. So really, why fight? So that's my view. Okay. Bye. Hi guys. So I'm part of this community here on YouTube, Banter with NJ. And the topic of the week is if we think friends and family's opinion matters when it comes to relationships, be it courtship or marriage. And I think it kind of does. If it's coming from family or if it's coming from a place of love and concern, then you should probably look into what they're complaining about. But if it's from your friends who you know don't really mean well or have like, you know, bad 
you know just bad vibes then you need to be careful because they might just be coming from a place of envy or jealousy and you have to be able to discern when the person means or well, when the opinion or concern is coming from a place of love or not and even if it is you have to be careful you don't just listen to it you just you know hear it and internalize it and see you know how you feel about it, if there's any truth to it and whatnot um yeah so i hope that makes sense but that's my opinion on this issue everyone my name is Ify and for the topic to this week um, I strongly believe that family is a very important factor to consider in marriage um, marriage being an institution that creates a family is also extends an existing family you know so my husband becomes a son to my parents and then I a daughter to my parents in law and it implies that things that affect my family um, automatically begins to affect my husband's family and you don't just want anybody to become a member of your family at least you want someone that aligns with your family values or can relate to it uh, with similarities here and there um, not just anybody as such I think family, family is a very very important factor to consider in marriage however um, the decision making in your nuclear home that's you your husband and your children is solely at the poor view and not dependent on what the extended family thinks or wants. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is John Sandra Onye. So, concerning our community video um, that our family and friends are supposed to be considered important factors in a relationship, to me, I don't think it is important for me to consider the opinion of another person whom I know that this person is living his or her, her life. I'll consider your opinion and at the end of the day, maybe I'll end up making a mistake just because I considered your opinion. I think it is better to leave people to their choices. It is better to leave people to choose who they want to be with. Because at the end of the day, you find out that you are the one that will spend the rest of your life with that person and not the other way around. If it's your parents, they have lived your life, their lives. They cannot come and tell you this is the right person for you because they are not you. They don't see what you see in that person. That is just the truth. So I think it is better for us to make our own choices and leave the opinion of the others outside, out of our um, marriage or courtship. That is my own opinion. Thank you, guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Yuji, and I'm excited to be part of NJ's family or village forum. So family and friends, important in courtship and marriage. And to me... The short answer is yes, because um, courtship is a serious deal. Like courtship is like a next level type of thing. It's to me, it's like engagement. It's different, totally different from boyfriend girlfriend type of thing. It's like the real deal. So, so two people are two mature people have come together <laughs> to say okay, they want to exclusively get to know each other and potentially get married right so for that kind of thing which is you know serious and you feel this person is going to end up becoming your family or part of your family it makes sense to involve your already formed family or the family you have so and being that to me the job of family is to always protect and guide you encourage you love you it makes like it's a no-brainer you should let them you know you should let them in on whoever it is you want to get married to yeah so that's my feelings about the whole topic so thank you nj for sending us this important you know topic and i can't wait to see or hear back from you bye guys and have a nice day hi i'm vivian chukuma and Referring to NJ's question on the importance of family and friends in courtship and marriage, well, I think in the beginning, before the marriage, yeah, the parents have a say in whom not to marry or who to marry. Because it is said that what an older, elder person or an old person sees sitting down, you as a single person cannot even see it while on the highest mountain. But once you are married, the decision should be strictly with you and your spouse if you really want that marriage to work. You should put family and friends aside and do what you and your spouse agreed because marriage does not have a formula. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So, this topic is a very broad one. 
actually. But the truth of the matter is, we must always consider the uniqueness of every relationship. Every relationship is unique in its own way. So, I'll say yes and I'll say no. If you should involve your family or friends in your relationship or marriage. The truth of the matter is, you must consider how your relationship is. What you want to achieve from that relationship or for that, from that marriage. I'll say yes because there are some times you need family and friends to help you with your sanity, to help you to reason and get more wisdom to help you. But it also depends on the kind of friends and family you have. Also, I will say no because as much as possible, you should avoid third parts in your relationship because sometimes you may put your husband, you may have a little mis misunderstanding with your husband or with your partner and because you told your friends, even if you for forgive your partner, your friends and your family members may not forgive your partner as fast as you would because they already have a negative information about that particular person. Whereas you are forgiving that partner, you have moved on. So it takes godly wisdom to balance it all and to be sure of if you should involve a third party. If a situation of life and death is involved, yes, you should involve third party. But if not, I don't see any reason why you should involve third party in your relationship. Thank you guys. Bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Amaka Biosa. I, my YouTube channel name is Abby Crystal. On this topic that was raised by Banta with NJ on her YouTube channel, she asked a question. He says, are friends and family supposed to be important factors in relationships, be it marriage or courtship? Should they be considered in decision making? Um, my own opinion is this. When it comes to relationship or courtship, I think the opinion of family members or friends should matter to an extent, okay? So it's left for you to filter the ones that are good from the ones that are bad. But when it comes to marriage, I believe that the opinion of family members shouldn't matter, okay? So because marriage is an, a union between a man and a woman, excluding all others. So in marriage, you should be able to tackle your situations or tackle your issues between yourselves without the interference of family members and friends. Okay, so that's my opinion. Mr. Amobi Goswil Chukuka. Um, asking me whether if family and friends is important in my own relationship, I don't think it's necessary. As a family man, I think I decide what I decide what uh, happened in my life and as well as my, uh, my family. So I think uh, the opinion of uh, everything depends on how I feel or how I think I should go. So I feel as a man, it's better for me to decide what to do and not friends and family. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Chine. So my take on family friends being uh, a part of one's relationship or marriage is, yes, I do agree, but there should be a limit to things, right? You know, in Igbo language, in Igbo land, it says, when a man marries a wife, he is not only the husband, but also his family are also a husband to the wife, to the new wife, right? So yeah, the the family and friends can never be overemphasized in all of this, right? So I do agree to a large extent, but there should just be a thin line where they do not have to cross. You know how human beings can be when you give them chance, they want to go overboard. So yes, yes, yes. Of course, we are Africans. I know how we are so communal in the way we, we live. So I would agree to that, but I should just be limited to things, and that's it. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Abiodun by name, but on YouTube I'm AB Special. So my little contribution on the topic, if family and friends are considered as important factor in a relationship, my answer is no, because the mo most important thing in a in a happy relationship is intimacy, and I think it's not everything that is happening in your relationship that your family or your friends have to know about, because you don't know who is happy and you don't know who is sad about that relationship, and. The best person for you to talk about that relationship with is the person you're in the relationship with because that's the person you're trying to understand that's the person you're trying to adapt with that's the person you you're trying to tolerate so i don't think talking to outsider about it is really cool it's okay to listen to advice but it's left for you to know the kind of advice you 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 apply in your relationship that's just it
Bye. Hello lovelies, my name is Mary Johnson Eme, a YouTuber based in Germany. Thank you for having me. Our friends and families important factors in our relationships and in our marriages? I would like to start by saying a tree can never make a forest. So yes, there are important factors in your relationship and also in your marriages. But in as much as there are important factors, there should be boundaries set. And these families and these friends should be ready to obey these set boundaries. Now, I would like you to know that your relationship, your marriage is so much important because it is dynamic in its nature and it is unique. So therefore, you shouldn't leave your marriage or your relationship at the messes of your families or at the messes of your friends. You should be in charge of your decision making and also you try to make sure that you create a very sweet and a lovely atmosphere for everybody. Thank you so much once again for having me. I'm EJ Chipuka. Reacting to banter with IJs, with NJ's question, if family should have, it should be a factor in relationships. I really think it depends on the relationship. Firstly, if you're single, your parents should be the ideal for who you choose to marry. If your parents, for any reason, they have any reasons for you to not marry the person, I suggest you quit the relationship. But if you're a married person, I really suggest you keep friends, external forces away from your family. Thank you. My name is Tona. So straight up, family and friends are important factors when it comes to marriage. Reasons being that when you're going into a relationship marriage with a family that has some kind of core values that doesn't match yours, I don't think it's going to work. For example, if you're going into a marriage with a, a guy that comes from a very strong Catholic home and you know that you on your own side, you're not a lover of Catholic, like Catholic and their, their practices and everything, you don't go saying that, yes, he said they are liberals and yes, their family, this is the 21st century. Some families are not like that. Unless, of course, you've met the family and you're realizing that they're very, very liberal. But if you've met the family and you see that they're not, it is a factor that is going to affect your marriage on the long run. Um, that is my own opinion. And then when it comes to friendship, you know, you can't tell me that these are your... These are the friends of, of your, whoever it is you're going into a relationship with. Probably the smokers hang out late at night. They, they very, the miscreants, the way they talk. They don't even, you know, talk down on women. And then you tell me that your guy is different. No, I'm going to consider that as a factor. Because even if he doesn't act like that in front of you, there should be something fishy. So I'm not going to go into more details because of time. And then for me, Family, friends are very, very important. I'm going to consider those before going into anything serious with any person. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My view on this week's discussion topic is that family has an important role to play in any relationship, be it the same sex or the opposite sex relationship. Especially in eastern part of Nigeria, where I come from, if you want to have a smooth relationship, you need your family to accept that relationship and approve that relationship. When we talk about friends, friends' opinions influences a lot of people's decisions. People are more concerned about what friends think or say about their relationship. People's decisions are based on friends' opinions. But as matured adults, you should be able to draw the line between family and friends' influence over your relationship. I was actually instigated by one of my favorite banter with NJ. She's actually trying to develop a YouTube community where everybody is somebody, everybody will belong, and Jesus Christ is God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, so she's asked us to do a video on the topic of families and friends supposed to be important factors in decision making, whether in relationships or marriages. <laughs> this topic is very wide and delicate, but I'm going to narrow it. Personally, I think people should be very intentional when making decisions maritally and relationship wise and they should to a certain extent involve their friends and families with whom they share these four things in common love trust respect and understanding because whether we like it or not most times relationships and marriages feel us we always fall back to our families and friends and also it depends on the gravity of the matter to be deli deliberated upon so there's some things we can't decide on our own we need external factors such as our families and friends to actually look into certain issues and make decision for us. Hi, good evening, NJ. I'm Nephi Val Odu, a Nigerian YouTuber from Del 
matters this concerning the community video what i want to see is outside the blog i want to see the market where they sell motorcycle because people from Delta states they actually go to new to get motorcycle and they said good things concerning that place that the market is big and so on so i wanted to do a video there so that we can see how it looks like and also video concerning other amazing places also thank you and please i need a shout out in your channel please so that i can get more subscribers thank you and god bless you there you have it you heard what your community members some of them what some of your community members had to say and yeah what do you guys think do you think that family and friends should be considered as important factors in relationship big marriage or courtship please tell us in the comment section down below we'd really love to hear what you think and yeah once again i really want to say thank you a big thank you to everyone who sent in their videos and for those less people whose video didn't make it on our community video please do not be upset and please don't be discouraged we're going to have so many more community videos coming up you know with time and please don't be discouraged i really love like i really love the response that i got on this it was so amazing like it made me feel so good and loved and appreciated and i am so grateful thank you so much everybody and yeah within the week i'm going to like we've gotten a lot of topics for our next community a video yes thank you to all those who sent in their topics and yeah so within the week i'm going to pick like the top three or four or five topics and i'm going to put it out and then we can all pick we can all select which one we like which one we like to be the topic for our next for our next community video yes guys so i'm going to put out that poll on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram please can you just so i'm going to put out the link up there up here or somewhere on the screen yes i'm just going to put it up please if you're not following me on instagram yet go follow me because i'm going to put up that poll on instagram and we'll be able to select which topic we want for our next community video and then i'll communicate that to you guys and then we'll get to work again this was really so fun i am so grateful guys thank you so much and yeah i'll see you guys in our next community meeting <laughs>